Welcome back, everyone, for day three of the Healthy for Life Starter Kit. I'm super excited. Today, we have another jam-packed time together all about how you can have your carbs and eat them too. And uh, we're going to dive right in. I will share my screen and we will get started. All right. So slideshow is hidden by all these little tabs and things. Bear with me one second. Here we go. And we get to the home screen, which is now hidden again. <laughs> ah, technical. When you go live, there's always wonderful things that can happen. So there we go. Perfect. Sorry for the delay. All right, I'm so excited to jump in today all about how you can have your carbs and eat them too. Welcome to those that are joining in for the first time today. My name is Sue Ann Hickey. I am a naturopath and I live just west of the island of Montreal in a beautiful town called Hudson. So let's dive in. I have always my favorite picture on my screen to start with the four body types. And I hope over the past couple of days, you've been able to start implementing some of the things that you've been learning and that you've been noticing that each day as we go along, one day plays on the next as you learn a little bit more and you can implement a little bit more. So I hope that everything is helpful and that you're able to, been able to implement some of the things that we've been learning. All right, so... I think that being healthy and full of energy is really possible for everyone, no matter what your age. And so many people think, well, it's normal, you know, as I get older, I'm going to be less healthy, less strong, I'm going to need probably more medications, etc. But I don't think that's true. I think that as long as we keep moving our body, as long as we keep eating as healthily as possible, we can stay healthy to a ripe old age like me. <laughs> so this is a picture uh, in Stowe, Vermont, a buddy who is in the cycling club. And I like this picture because here he's got his bike, his pump, his bag, and a case of beer underneath his arm. So it's always about finding balance. It's about finding what works for you. We are never going 100%. Yes, we're going to have some unhealthy carbs occasionally, but the more you make some of your meals nutrient dense and have your, you know, snacks and other treats, you might call them, that are a little bit less healthy, it's all good. It's about finding balance and finding what works for you. So we all have our own challenges to overcome. So many of us, like 2024 is... You know, we've been through the pandemic, we've been through being isolated, I'm still finding it hard to get together with friends. And so many of us are dealing with so many different things, whether it's aging parents that we have to take care of, children that have a lot of uh, challenges, anxiety and stresses through the roof. Those of us that live in the area that I do, we deal with traffic like this every time we want to go into the city, actually it doesn't look like this because they only give us one lane, not four, <laughs> to get across a bridge. But oh, we're not even going to go there today. <laughs> so there's so many challenges that need to be overcome and so many things pulling us in so many different directions. So how do you take care of your own health? As I said, the most important thing is to find what works for you. Let me pull down this little... Uh, my little picture over here, da, 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 so you can see some of the pictures a little bit better. There's always a little part of it that's going to be blocked off, but that's the name of the game. So we're going to talk about the body types tomorrow. Stay tuned. It's so fascinating of how much a difference it can make in your life. But there's so many different plans out there, right? Who You can let me know in the chat if you've tried. So many people have tried keto, right? Or let me know if you've tried intermittent fasting. Or, you know, you can write in the chat if you've tried Weight Watchers. Um, a clean 30 is another one. Like so many people have tried different things. So let me know in the chat what you've tried. And often the challenge with some of these things is that they don't work long term. And we'll talk a little bit about that too. When they're overly restrictive, 
they don't work. So it's up to you to make and decide what changes you're willing to make while we're on this call and after, because we're creatures of habit, right? It is not easy to make changes when we've been stuck in our ways. Yesterday, I was talking about myself learning about the body types and being super stubborn. Like there's no way I was going to change the way I was eating. It took a lot of convincing for me. And once I ch did change, I never looked back. I felt so much better. I just kept on eating that way forever. So I have a little bit about me for those that are first time on the call. This is another time in Vermont lying on our backs after not a big ride, but the hills in Vermont can be pretty big. So unable to move. <laughs> There's only one man standing. I don't know what he's eating. But anyway, um, yeah, I was really having a hard time and struggling when I first joined the Beaconsfield Cycling Club and having so many challenges trying to keep up with the others. So it was yoga way back in 1990 that can completely transform my life and my health. And I started getting, you know, learning everything I could about healthy diet and nutrition and found it fascinating. So it's been 34 years, is that possible? Oh my God, of uh, this passion of mine. And I made a lot of mistakes along the way. When I was vegetarian, I was eating way too much cheese because I was looking for protein and I was still eating way too much sugar. But uh, finally, when I started taking my classes to be a naturopath in 2006, that's when I took my nutrition to a whole new level. So many things I learned over six years. I took my classes part time for six years and um, my health just skyrocketed and I learned exactly what I needed to do and now I love teaching others how to do the same thing and what is also great is so many of the things that I learned when I was studying to be a naturopath I read a lot of books still of course and when they're written by medical doctors and they confirm all the different things that I learned way back I'm just like yes <laughs> I'm so happy that some, you know, medical doctors are trying are starting to get on the healthy bandwagon about learning about healthy eating. And it's so much of the information that I'm giving out is still tried and true after so many years. All my ailments at the time disappeared. This is a picture I took uh, two years ago. Yeah, in the spring, just for fun for a probably social media stunt. Um, yeah, so all my ailments disappeared and I felt better than ever. So today we're talking about carbs and why carbs and why we should eat them. What happens when we add good carbs into our diet? We're going to go into that. We're talking all about replacing ordinary carbs with healthier alternatives, easy switches to make that make a huge difference with your weight loss journey and your health how to plan and prepare. And I've got a few really simple, delicious recipes. So if you don't have a pen and paper, grab that now. We'll put on the pause music, <laughs> Jeopardy, while you grab your pen and paper uh, to take a few notes, because I'm sure there'll be a few things that you want to jot down, especially some recipes of how to make your clean carbs tasty. Super, super easy ways to do that. We have to stop counting calories. I hope you're not counting calories. We is like we can't count calories. We can't count points and macros and micros and all these things. Let's stop making this overly complicated so that all you're focused on all the time is food. We want to stop doing that so you can relax and have your carbs and eat them to have different things, have lots of variety without worrying, without the stress, make it easy, make it simple. And I'll show you how to do that. All right. So a lot of people, when I start talking about carbs, they're, you know, carbs are incorporate a ton of different foods, right? It can be vegetables, it can be fruits, it can be anything like carbs are, is simply the sugar molecule. So we're talking about a ton of foods except for things like animals and, and that but for our purposes today when I mention carbs it's about whole grains and starches so I'll give you the list as well of what 
uh, carbs are in just a few minutes. But what happens when we eliminate an entire food group, like do, trying to do keto, is that it's not healthy. So many people doing keto get super constipated because they've taken out fiber. And then they have to add in things like magnesium to help themselves go to the bathroom. It's just not a good plan, in my opinion. So the thing is with whole grains, whole grains are super high in fiber. So that is so important, keeping us regular and keeping us satisfied. They are rich in minerals and vitamins and especially B vitamins. So B vitamins nourish the nervous system. And that, in my opinion, is very important. <laughs> I have mentioned before that I tend to rev a little bit high on the nervous energy. So anything I can do to help myself stay calm is key. I take a complex B vitamin every day as well as eating lots of carbs. So grains, good carbs. <laughs> grains are also high in vitamin E, the anti-aging vitamin. So some people tell me that I look younger than my years. And I think it has to do a lot with eating the right foods, avoiding sugar, eating things that have anti-aging properties to them, antioxidants, because I took a ton of sun. <laughs> I was a sun worshiper forever up until probably a couple of years ago. So my skin is pretty damaged from the sun, but when we nourish the body from the inside out, that is even more important than other things that we do, like using skincare products, right? It's helpful, but nothing beats eating healthily for helping you stay young. So grains, number three, super important reason, they fill you up so you're not hungry. When we do that, uh, usually my clients tell me that what keeps them the weight on are the unhealthy snacks in between meals or at night. It's usually they're doing pretty well with their meals. Maybe there's some tweaking to do, but it's those snacks, I don't know how they get into the house, right, that keep the weight on. So let's dive into a little bit more detail about our whole grains. On the left, whole grain, we have the outer edge, which is the bran. We have the inner germ, which is nutrient packed, both of those. And what do they do? Like people think like, think of the countries like India or China. Back in the day, they used to eat brown rice and now it's white rice. What happened and why? Well, the wealthy people decided, oh, I can have my servants polish these grains and then they'll be white and I can have white bread and that will make me look good. Hence, then the rest of the population is like, oh, we want to do the same thing. And we started refining our grains. What happened? Nosedive in health <laughs> across the world. Worst thing that could have happened is for us to refine our grains, taking out all the nutrients and vitamins and leaving us with these nutrition, nutrient, uh, how do you say, no nutrient in the food and people eating white rice and diabetes skyrocketing in countries like India because of that and because of all the refining and because they wanna emulate the Western world. So wheat starts out with 10 to 15 vitamins, 75% removed. And when we have like things like enriched, enriched flour, we're adding maybe three vitamins back in and they're usually synthetic vitamins. So it's in the polishing process, the refining process that all the nutrients are taken out. This is some of what's lost in refining. You know, uh, as I said, you see the B vitamins, how much they're all gone? So much of them, right? The magnesium is gone, the healthy fats. So, you know, because when we have white flour, you can keep white flour for how long? Maybe decades, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done that test, but it'll sit on the shelf and never go bad. Whereas if you buy good flours, you need to keep them in the fridge because they have the good fats in them. They have the vitamins in them. And if you don't keep them in the fridge, they can go rancid. So good little note there. And the results of a diet with refined flours, all these things, constipation, joint pain, hypoglycemia, diabetes, overweight, inflammation, high acidity, the list goes on. And I don't know about you, but I grew up with bread that looked like this back in the day as we didn't know yet, oh, you know, palm bakeries and 
all the things or maybe some wheat bread we had occasionally, but we don't didn't have the knowledge then that we do now about how what happens when we refine these uh, products and the carbs. What's wrong with wheat? So most people say I'm eating wheat. Isn't that OK? Unfortunately, wheat has been hybridized, manipulated, transformed. So it's no longer the healthy grain that it was. They want it to grow twice as fast, twice as big, and then they can harvest more. It's all about profit, right? And then they douse it in a lot of pesticides before they harvest it. So you, it's not usually the food that's no longer good for us. It's what has been done to the food that has kind of destroyed what the healthy grain that it used to be. So in a pinch, if you can get some organic whole grain wheat, that could be better. But I'm going to go into a lot of different healthier alternatives for you. So the ones we want to replace are the white foods, white rice, white flour, and whole wheat. All right. So there was a little phrase that said, the whiter the bread, the sooner you're dead. So usually I'm more on the positive side, not going into the negative things, but it was kind of a, a little ditty that reminds us to not eat white bread. Yes, and having a baguette occasionally delicious, but in general at home when we can make use healthier alternatives. So this is my list of easy alternatives for your clean carbs. So if you want to take a screenshot of that or write them down. We'll be going into each one of them a little bit more in detail. And also you have your handout that you got uh, this morning's email, which has this list and all the details of all the vitamins and minerals in each one. So brown rice, quinoa, wild rice, oats, potatoes, sweet potatoes, barley, buckwheat, spelt and kamut, and of course, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, there are ones like millet that I don't tend to use very often, but are also tasty, amaranth, and different ones like that, a little bit more obscure. So the complex B in the B vitamin, in the uh, healthy carbs rather, is a neuroprotector. So it protects the neurons and the nervous system, as I said. This could be super important for the adrenal body type pictured here because they tend to internalize their stress and they really need to learn how to better manage their stress. So nourishing their nervous system, what could be better? Uh, they, it also inhibits the growth of cancer cells, lowers cholesterol and blood pressure. Also for the adrenal type, they can be prone further down the road to high cholesterol, high blood pressure, cardiovascular issues. So again, perfect for them for prevention. Next, quinoa. Imagine quinoa. It's, it's such a powerhouse of nutrients. It has more protein than any other grain. It is, has eight grams of protein in one cup, high in vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats like most seeds. It is actually not a really considered um, a carb. It is actually a vegetable and it's a seed. But for our purposes, you know, it cooks up like a, a great carb. It's super fast, 15 minutes and it's ready. You can eat it hot and or cold. It is super versatile. I eat it probably almost every day. I am a thyroid type, as I mentioned. So I need protein, protein, protein. So having quinoa, I often have it for lunch because I get some extra protein there and it's light and fluffy. And I often have brown rice for dinner because that's kind of more heavy and consistent. And of course, we switch it up a lot. At dinner, we might have uh, pasta, some good quality pasta, potatoes, sweet potatoes, things like that. Potatoes, speaking of which, um, they can be high in pesticides, unfortunately. So if you can choose organic, and then when you choose organic, you can eat the skin. So the skin is really high in B6 and fiber and potatoes are great, very uh, good for us not to be avoided. Just don't pile them high with butter and sour cream. Sweet potatoes. Everyone, most people love sweet potatoes and they are amazing. They are orange. And if you remember back what I said in past webinars, is that the beta carotene, the orange, is anti-inflammatory. So really, really good for us. Super high in fiber. Sweet potatoes are one of the foods highest in fiber, 
good for your skin, immune system, and the beta carotene helps convert this to vitamin A, which is also good for our vision. So have your sweet potatoes as often as possible. Now, one thing to note about barley, you can jot this down as well, because most people don't know this. Remember when we were talking about refining the grains? So you have two different kinds of barley. The first one is here, it's called pot or scotch barley. That means the whole grain. When you choose pearled barley, pearled barley has been polished. So they've taken off all the outer layer and all the goodness. So now you know, <laughs> pot or scotch barley. What I love about barley is that it's perfect for soups. So lentil soup, pea soup, we add some in. Be careful because it absorbs a lot of the water. So like a third of a cup or less is perfect. And it is so economical. So many of these grains cost so little, like, like a whole big bag of barley, which will last you years, maybe depending on how often you eat it is a dollar or something. So use barley as well. It's so delicious. Now on to our bread. So if you want to have your bread and eat it too, if you are able to find these ancient grains, uh, kamut and spelt sourdough bread, that is ideal. And I know I have tons of clients across the US that really have a hard time finding this. Some of them have found it online and had it delivered from quite far away. Those are my clients that are closer to me around Montreal. We're very fortunate, super fortunate to be able to have a few bakeries around Montreal that make kamut and spelt sourdough bread. You can go to health food stores like Tao, T-A-U, or Avril, and ones like that. Ask for kamut or spelt sourdough, and we can find it. Now, the thing with kamut and spelt, it's still wheat, but it hasn't been hybridized, manipulated, modified, transformed. So it's still intact. It's a really amazing nutrient-dense grain. So it has similar to the other healthy grains, it has a lot of healthy fats, a lot of vitamins and minerals and higher in protein and fiber. So that's perfect when you wanna have a slice of bread. I buy a couple of loaves when they get it in fresh to the health food store and freeze it and it's perfect. Sourdough is a little bit better than regular bread it's just an, kind of the ancient way of cooking it without needing to add in yeast and things like that. If there are any questions about this, feel free to post them in the chat anytime and I will answer them either as we go or at the end. So now for the people that can't find uh, kamut or spelt, rye bread is also a good choice. Buckwheat can be excellent. Buckwheat absorbs all the vitamins and minerals from the soil. And then for our pasta, you can have your pasta. There are so many wonderful kinds of pasta that are better than our white pasta or wheat pasta. So you can have pasta made with quinoa, made with brown rice, chickpeas, beans. They make it with all kinds of things these days. And when you do that, it will again fill you up a long time. And I know people, you know, instead of uh, having pasta, they do the spiralizing of uh, things like zucchini, which is great. But in my opinion, that's a vegetable. So it will fill you up temporarily. But when you have a really good quality pasta, that will fill you up longer because there's more consistency to it, right? The thing about brown rice, I just want to mention, I had a girlfriend who... Um, invited me over for lunch. And previously I had made brown rice pasta and it came out mushy and I was like, this is gross. I'm never cooking or eating this again. Years and years later, I go to lunch at my girlfriend's house. She cooks brown rice pasta. She cooked it perfectly the right amount of time. It was perfect. I'm like, oh my God, who knew? So be aware. You have to find the right time on the package, follow it. If you cook it too long, yes, it will be mushy, not long enough, it will be hard. So cook it the right amount of time and it is delicious. And I always say that it's mostly the sauce that gives the pasta dish of the right flavor, right? So you can use any kind of pasta. Now, how to make your clean carbs tasty. We have lemon juice and olive oil, super, super simple for your quinoa salad. I make that 
so often I add all different kinds of veggies in, or you can add salad dressing, sauces, rags, liquid soya seasoning, add veggies and protein, and then you have a full meal. So I just want to uh, sh stop the screen share for one second, and I'm going to sh have a little show and tell here with all the things that I have on hand. All right. Sorry, let's see if we can bring this up a little bit bigger. All right. Perfect. So we have things that we can use to make our clean carbs tasty. Now we all know, or many of us might know, we have a glare from the light in front of me. Bragg's liquid soya seasoning. Is this backwards? I mean, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. If everything's backwards, that is a drag. I think it is, but oh well. So the Bragg's apple cider vinegar, they also make this Bragg's soya seasoning. So it's called savory liquid soya seasoning. I buy it in big bottle. And also if you can find it, they make a small little spray bottle. All right, this is hard to find now. I bought it a long time ago. When we empty it, we wash it out and then refill it again. This is perfect. You just spray a little on top of your brown rice, on top of your quinoa, and it makes it taste so delicious. Now for a very fast um, pasta sauce recipe, okay, write this down. You have your Bragg's soy seasoning. So usually we saute all kinds of veggies and then, you know, in a little bit of olive oil or butter, add in a tablespoon or two of the Bragg's liquid soya seasoning, and then add in a tablespoon or two of tahini sauce. So tahini is like sesame seeds that are ground up into sesame butter. And you put that in, you can add a little bit of water or a little bit of chicken stock, and you have the most delicious pasta sauce ever. So that is one tip. And when you are, um, what's the other recipe I had? So, oh yes, for gravy, savory gravy. So this is another super simple, easy recipe to put on top of anything, your whole grains, because it's always about the sauces, right? So you take two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of your healthy flour. So that could be your kamut flour if you can find it or another healthy flour. Stir that up in the pan and then you add a cup of hot water and then a tablespoon or two of your Bragg's, a pinch of basil, and voila, you have a super fast vegan gravy. So if I went too fast, <laughs> quickly again, two tablespoons olive oil, two tablespoons flour, you stir that up, one cup hot water, and then your Bragg's a tablespoon or a bit more, and maybe a quarter teaspoon of basil. So that is amazing. We're going to get to this in a minute. Uh, some healthy crackers. This is Rivita. We always buy. So good. This is, they make quite a few different kinds. Rivita. So we'll get back to that. I will share my screen again and we'll finish the presentation. Here we go. All right. So back to our PowerPoint. Here we are. Oh, we didn't start at the beginning, did we? <laughs> oh, yay. Let's just fast forward over here. Almost there. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, can you tell I don't share my screen and get back and forth very often? <laughs> Okay, perfect. So that's a few healthy recipes for you and I hope that helps. So next we'll move right along. A little goes a long way. So this is key, right? A lot of my clients are like, yay, I can have carbs. I'm so excited and I'll be able to lose weight, but we don't need a lot. So I would suggest half a cup. And, you know, brown rice, a half a cup of brown rice, that will keep you satisfied a long time. Quinoa as well. 
And then you're going to say, but Sue Ann, like half a cup of pasta. Are you kidding me? We usually like pasta, the whole thing. So I invite you to saute a ton of vegetables, add in your protein, whatever that might be. Maybe it's chunks, chunks of chicken or vegetarian protein, beans. And then you don't need a huge amount of pasta and you will be satisfied a long time. So try this to boost up your lunch and dinner and everything will change. But uh, the key thing I find with so many people is at lunch, we're just having like, oh, I just had a bowl of soup or I grabbed a wrap. And then you're hungry two hours later. It can be so key when you add in like potatoes to your soup or sweet potatoes to your meal or some quinoa. You have your protein and veggies guaranteed that you won't be hungry as soon after. So always try to plan in advance. Another key tip that I can give you what I do, what I did yesterday, when I'm eating breakfast, I cook my quinoa. It takes 15 minutes, I put on the timer, you know, if I'm going and putting on my makeup and getting ready, come back, I take the whole pot and I put it right in the fridge. <laughs> I don't do that often, but for that I do. So when I get ready for lunch, I come back and I have my quinoa, it's cold. I put in all my veggies, I put in my salad dressing, have my protein and I'm good to go. So we have to think a little bit in advance because yes, brown rice takes 45 minutes to cook. Not like, you know, quinoa takes 15, but you have to think, okay, if we want to have brown rice for dinner, we have to be thinking about that, you know, 45 minutes before so it can be ready on time. Here's my favorite healthy crackers. So Mary's Organic are really good, Kavli and Rye Vita. What do these three crackers all have in common? They don't have the unhealthy oils and fats, right, that we talked about on day one. So you uh, are avoiding the unhealthy refined oils. That's why they're way more healthy for you. And they don't have much added salt. And uh, you might find them a little dry, but usually you're not eating a uh, cracker alone, right? You can have whatever you like on it, your homemade hummus or your little bit of almond butter, things like that. So nothing will change if it doesn't give you pleasure, right? Uh, we don't want to take away all your fun things. And I'm all about having fun and enjoying life, enjoying the process with my clients, with my membership. And I think we still, it's so important to enjoy what we're doing, to have the pleasure. And I think this is totally true. If you're not going to like what you're eating, there's no way you're going to last. Or if you're not going to like the program, you're going to drop out. So it's always about making sure you're having pleasure, having fun. So if this sounds like you, if you've been struggling for a long time, and weight loss doesn't seem to work anymore, no matter what you do. If you're going through menopause, things can change, body is shifting, maybe your self-confidence is down, you're isolating yourself, you keep regaining the weight you work so hard to lose, you've wasted money on shakes, gimmicks, and trainers and things like that, and you still are not where you want to be, or you really just maybe want to get rid of a little bit of belly fat. Or perhaps you haven't bought any new clothes in ages because you really want to drop a few pounds, then I invite you to either you can continue on your own, but if you join the Body Typology membership, you will probably achieve your goals way faster than you ever would on your own, right? Myself, I have a, had a lot of coaches in the past because I know with their expertise and them holding me accountable, my business grows way faster than I ever would if I was, would like if I'm stumbling along in the dark trying to figure it out on myself. It's so much easier when you have an expert guiding you or and right now I'm in a mastermind. So we have so many wonderful women cheering each other on and giving each other input of how to grow our businesses. So it's the same for weight loss. You get so many wonderful things with the membership. I have a long list, <laughs> but as I mentioned yesterday, you get a one-on-one -on -one bonus consultation with me. You get personalized support, accountability. You're gonna get your body type plan. You're gonna be able to wear the sizes you want. Celebrate every pound. We celebrate along with you, believe me. It's a, a big party inside. And you join a group of motivated women for encouragement and support. 
So it's finally open. I haven't opened the membership since October. And for less than a dollar a day, you get all the things I mentioned. I'm also adding in three extra onboarding calls just for the new members to help bring you up to speed. There are bi-monthly meetings. And I'm also adding in, which is new, one-on-one -on -one check ins with me. So every two months, you'll get 30 minutes to an hour with me. We're going to go over, you have an assessment to do at the beginning, a little fun quiz that has nine questions in it. And you'll do the assessment again. We'll say, okay, what's going on? Where are you struggling? How can I help you? And it's like really essential for you to really get the feedback you need to help you move forward on those areas where you might be struggling. You have the membership hub, lots of videos and the community. So the bonuses I'm offering are the one-on-one -on -one evaluation. You get the manual and cookbook and a food journal and the writing is up off the slide. <laughs> but I believe that says that if you have, uh, we, we also have the early bird bonus, which is my book, which I'm going to send to you as soon as it's out. It's probably in July and I'm gonna pay for the shipping. So that is only good until tonight, Wednesday, if you're watching the replay at midnight and then that early bird bonus goes away. Actually, that might be on an upcoming slide, but anyway. So once you have your body type plan, you are ready. As I said, let's give up counting calories, counting points. You're not gonna miss out on your favorite foods. You can have your deviations and you will save tons of time and loads of money, guaranteed, because you're not gonna be going off on other things that don't work or spending money on things that don't work and we'll find a plan that works for you given your food preferences and your busy lifestyle. So the price is $300 for a year. You can get two months free, $300 US or $30 US per month. One of the questions that's been coming up is people say, well, is there a, like a commitment? Do I have to commit for six months or a year? The answer is no, it is an open membership. If you decide after a few months, you know, this is great, I think I have enough, or for whatever reason, you can jump out anytime. There is no commitment at all. So for those that want to know about one-on-one -on -one coaching, who think that the group is not for them, they really like more one-on-one -on -one with me, you get an initial consultation with an evaluation for an hour and a half, 12 weekly Zoom sessions, two rapid transformational therapy sessions to overcome all your emotional triggers. And the price now until Saturday only, Saturday, April 20th, is $14.97 for a one-on-one -on -one working with me for 13 full sessions. So I can't wait to see you on the inside. I'm excited that the Body Typology membership is now finally open, but you only have a few days to act because then it's gonna close again on Saturday. So if you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer your questions and stay tuned for tomorrow where we go into all about eating right for your body type. If you haven't figured out what your body type is yet, hopefully we can figure it out on the call tomorrow. And I'm super excited. It's been a great week. I hope you're learning a lot, but also you are implementing what you're learning. Have a great day, everyone.